What's up, YouTube? It's Brenda Lee's. Oh, no. It's not Brenda Lee's. What's up, YouTube? It's Destiny back at it again with another video. So, in today's video, as you guys know by the title, we'll be talking about 10 tips to survive high school. So, I just want to say, like, just before I start this video off, high school is not what you guys think it is. People just gas high school up high school is the same thing as middle school as elementary school it is the same thing just that the people got faker and the work gets a little bit harder basically and yeah i just wanted to tell you high school is not what you think it is i really wish i was in middle school again like i honestly like middle school more than high school honestly so anyways let's get let's just get straight into the video let's just go straight into the video <laughs> okay so tip number one to survive high school be yourself just be yourself like be yourself and stay true to yourself like don't try to be someone you're not to impress others or to impress your friends or you know no that's you just people just not gonna like you just be yourself be original be extraordinary think out of the box be different it's okay to be different you don't have to be like every single person be unique okay just be yourself basically tip number two stop caring about what other people think people are just gonna talk about you regardless just there's a lot of haters in the world and you're just gonna have to deal with that so stop caring about what other people think because even when you're doing something right, they're still gonna find out one thing to talk bad about you. Does that make sense? So yeah, regardless or not, people are just gonna talk bad about you whether you're doing the right thing or not. And that's perfectly fine. That means that you're popping, you feel me? You're popping. So tip number three, pick your friends wisely. Please pick your friends wisely. Do not hang around the wrong crowd. You do not want to do that in high school because you might think, oh, yeah, I'm gonna be with the cool people. Well, guess what, honey? Them people that you think is cool is not gonna be cool 10 years from now. They're gonna be in the same place they are now. They're gonna be doing the same thing they are doing now. Hang around people that is going to make you succeed. Hang around people that motivate you. Hang around people that make you want to do good things in your life. Positive things in your life. Hang around people that uplift you. Hang around people that are smarter than you. That know more things about you so that you can learn from them. And they can learn from you. You feel me? Hang around the right, the right crowd. And the, and the nerds. The nerds that you be picking on. The nerds you be picking on. They gonna be getting that some money, that money, yup, yeah, no. They gonna be making money, they gonna be successful, why? Because they put their education first, and you wanna hang, hang with them nerds, you feel me? They're not even nerds, they just smart people. And it's okay to be smart, it's okay. Okay, tip number four, don't fall into peer pressure do not fall into peer pressure just because your friend is doing it doesn't mean you have to do it okay like don't let your friends influence you to do bad things it's not right and then chances are you're gonna regret it in the long run so why not just don't just don't do it at all if you see your friend doing something wrong tell them like listen don't do this like you might get in trouble you might regret it and just don't follow if you know your friend is doing bad things stop being their friend just stop just no at like you can warn them like hey like i don't feel like this is right and this is not leading you into a positive direction so and if they don't want to change hello bye bye leave them like find new friends that aren't gonna influence you to do good things okay because don't fall into that peer pressure. You're going to regret it, sis. You're going to regret it. <laughs> All right. Tip number five. Put yourself first. I know that sounds selfish. I know that sounds selfish. But, girl, you need to put your... 
not even the girls. I, I'm talking to all people, boys, girls, humans, aliens. Just put yourself first because nobody's gonna help you get that get that degree. Nobody's gonna help you graduate. It's you, yourself, and I. Like, put yourself first. Do your own thing first. Like, you feel me? And I'm not saying like you can't help your friends. Like, yes, you can help them. Of course, like, help your friends out. But put yourself first. Like, if you know you gotta turn this homework in, and you're not turning it in because you're trying to help your friend, no, baby girl, you better turn your. Sh you better turn that homework in. You better turn that homework in. Don't sacrifice your learning to help someone else because they're not gonna help you in the future. You're not even gonna know them in the future, probably. You feel me? There are some people that you are still gonna hang out in the future with, but chances are you're not even gonna know them. So just, just put yourself first, even though that might seem a little bit, you know, selfish but it's just the truth you gotta you gotta be you, you gotta be greedy if you want to get places you gotta be greedy you gotta what <laughs> listen the truth is you gotta be greedy if you want to be successful you gotta be greedy you could help your friends out on the, in the way on the way but don't sacrifice what you doing to help your friend okay tip number six do not slack off do not slack off meaning do not pro cat pro 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 one eternity later i don't know how to say that word do not procrastinate do not procrastinate 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 right you know i'm about to put that google translator in because honestly Guys, you know that elephants are my favorite um, animals, right? Elephants and tigers. I love elephants. Alright, I'm about to put procrastinate right now. Procrastinate. Do not perc procrastinate. Do not procrastinate. Procrastinate. Do not procrastinate. <laughs> Y'all got what I'm trying to say. Don't slack off, like... If you know your homework or that, if you know that homework or that project is due in a week, do not wait for the last minute to do that homework or that project. Just do not do that because you're going to stress yourself out. You're going to grow pimples on your face. You're going to get obese. <laughs> I'm kidding. But listen, don't stress yourself out. Like, just get it out the way. Like, do that project right away. You got the whole week to chill. Like, don't wait last minute because that's just not gonna work. You're gonna be up 12 in the night doing that work. That packet that needed to be done years ago. And you're gonna just be there sitting there like, damn, I could have been done this. I could have, you could have been out with your friends. You feel me? Just don't procrastinate. You're gonna be stressed out and you do not want more stress, baby girl. You're gonna get gray hair. You're gonna get gray hair, you're gonna go grow pimples. No, 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 we can't afford that out here. We can't afford that. Get your work done. Just get your work done. Just do it like that. Do it like that. Do it like that. As soon as you get home, do it. Get it out the way. You feel me? Just get it out the way. Okay, tip number seven. Turn all your work in on time. Please turn all your work in on time. Do not turn your work in late. I don't know about in your school, but in my school, if you turn your work in a day late, that's 10 points off. So imagine if you turn your work in three days late. That's 30 points off, which means you only got a 70. If you even do good in that test or in that in that homework or whatever the situation may be okay so just turn your work in on time okay tip number eight do not be mean to people okay don't bully people don't bully people because you don't know what people have to go through at home what their life is like you don't know that so what's the point of bullying someone else to bring someone down? Like, honestly, if you if you're bullying someone, 
there's something wrong with you like are you not happy with yourself that you feel the need to bring someone else down is that the problem like just find love stop hating stop bullying people stop being mean to people stop teasing people just because someone's different or they look just because someone looks different or act different or are nerdy or are weird to you doesn't mean you have to bully people okay everybody's different if you bully someone or if you talk bad about someone if you're mean to someone you're already below them you are already below them just be kind spread love stop hating stop being hateful it's a cruel world so spread love be happy like honestly and if you're one of those people that gets bullied in school speak up for yourself and tell tell a teacher tell your parents don't hold that in because like people commit suicide for that guys you know that right people commit suicide people go through enough in their life already they don't have to hear your bs and if you are one of those people that are bullied or if people talk bad about you just don't care about it because you're not gonna know these people 10 years from now you're not gonna know these people 10 years from now so don't worry about it if they talk about you let them talk sis let them talk they talk about you it's because you're popping so let them talk because chances are you're not gonna know them 10 years from now so don't worry about the, what they gotta say tip number nine quality over quantity i'm sorry but that's just self-explanatory quality over quantity and it can mean in so many aspects it's like friend wisely you could have 20 friends and i can just have two but my two friends are loyal and your 20 friends are talking bad about you talking behind your back so quality over quantity it doesn't matter how many friends you got you just gotta pick the right friend and a good friend you just gotta pick the best friend you just gotta pick the best friend <laughs> And, oh, and it could also mean, like, work-wise. So you can write a whole eight-page essay, and I could write a whole three-page essay. And I could get a hundred, and you could get a sixty just because my, my essay was well put together. It's just about the quantity, you feel me? So it doesn't matter the quantity. It's about the quality. And last but not least, and most importantly, tip number 10, make sure you put a lot of thought in your future and the school you pick. I cannot stress that enough. <sighs> do not pick the wrong school, guys. Please do not pick the wrong school because then you're going to want to transfer and that's like a whole year to transfer and you don't want to wait a whole year into a school you don't like so just pick your school wisely know what school you want to get into so research that school go to the orientations look look to see if you're interested in that school look at the reviews just make sure that that's the school you want to go to and that you won't regret going to that school okay and um always think about your future always have your future in mind you know, um, make sure to put a lot of thought into your future. And um, start now. Like, start now thinking about what what college you want to go to. You're a sixth grader, and you should be already thinking about what college you want to go to because you always have to think about your future. You always have to think about what's best for you, what you want to do with your life, and what you want to get from it what you want to earn from it do you want to be a homeless person or do you want to be a person living in a mansion you feel me and how are you going to get there what are you going to do to get there don't choose the easy way out because then you're not earning you're not earning it it feels so much better when you earn it so that is my last tip and i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i hope um you can relate to it or I hope I helped you, you know, I hope this video encourages you to do the right thing. I hope you like this video and please give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, you already know, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. 
<laughs> subscribe, 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 subscribe to my channel. Give this video a big thumbs up. Comment down below what other video you'd like to see next. And until next time, bye. What? 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 Oh, baby.